Okay, guys. So do you actually put video on the site? We are, we do, yeah. Uh -huh. And we don't edit it either. So if you make a mistake, <laughs> no, I'm nervous. Um, okay. So let's go, let's go. Uh, so first of all, congrats, <laughs> season three. You guys got picked up back in January, so you don't have you didn't have to wait like all these other shows do. What was that like getting the early pickup? Anytime anybody in Hollywood gives you any piece of good news, it's the most thrilling and unexpected thing that's happened to you that month. Oh right, yes. right, right. Especially when it's early. Yeah. And then you spend the next few weeks going like, oh, that's not good. They're gonna yank it. It's gonna, something horrible is gonna happen. Yeah. Where's up after like 20 minutes? Yeah. Like, what's the what's the negative side of this that will occur to me now? <laughs> right. But it was great. It was amazing. It was so nice of them to do that. It, Really, everyone relaxed, and the end of the season yeah. was really fun, and everyone else was having a really good time because we weren't all like wondering if we would never see each other again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and congrats on winning the Golden Globe last year. That must have been such. First of all, everyone's saying it was a surprise, but I think I think you guys deserve it. Really. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. What was it like going up on that Thank stage? You, Marcus. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, it was a surprise. I mean, whenever you win, no matter how much you feel like you may or may not deserve something, it, it feels like a surprise. And we were definitely surprised. I mean, I think if you watch the video of us, that is the most sincere look of surprise a uh -huh. table has ever expressed. Serious question, is Meryl Streep surprised when she finds out she's nominated? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't no, think she's not, right? But now when she wins, is she surprised? I don't, I'm not sure she's really surprised. Okay. She, it's like Meryl Streep and like James Cameron. Do you want another thing? Especially on she's such a good actress, you'll never know. Right. She's like, uh, uh, she's invented a character for herself called like Surprised Meryl. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, embodies that what? character. I just gave birth? <laughs> what? Uh, do you miss The Office? Because I do. Really? Yeah. As a viewer, you're saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what else would he miss? Great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't know. I wanted to make sure yes, I answered yes, the question. I, that was my first job in Los Angeles. I miss it terribly. I miss it yeah. all the time. If I see a... I was cleaning out my desk recently, and I found a giant pile of old scripts from like season three, and I just like sat there and read them for like an hour. So I have, I'll never, like that show, working with Greg Daniels, like literally the reason all this is here uh -huh. is because Greg hired me on that show. And then Greg and I made Parks and Rec together. We hired Dan to work on Parks and Rec, and we did Parks and Rec together. And then we created Brooklyn together. Like it all, everything good in my professional life comes from the fact that Greg Daniels hired me for the office in 2004. So he answered your question is yes, I do visit. <laughs> I was just talking to somebody who was asking me what they could do to be a better writer, and I was like, first of all, don't talk to me. But secondly, I was like, just watch, get the box set of The Office, and just watch it from the beginning. It's yeah. so amazing. I think everyone misses it. Um, any chance that Steve Carell or Amy Poehler will pop up as guest stars on Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Uh, that would be great. You never know. It would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Like, there's always a desire to, like, get the funniest people in the world onto your show. Mm -hmm. And so anytime a guest star pops up, you think, who's the funniest person in the world who will do this or who is interested in this? In the case of Steve Carell, like, why does Steve Carell want to go hang out in the valley for, like, at a, on a, somebody else's set? Yeah. He has kids and he likes his kids and he likes his <laughs> wife and he makes movies and gets paid a lot of money. So the chances of that happening, I'd say, are fairly slim. But... We're all our mission statement is always like get the funniest people you can yeah. think of, and that has led to so many great guest stars already in two seasons of the show, like Kara Sedgwick and Nick Kroll, and you know, I mean, uh, Garrett Dillahunt the other night was so funny. Bradley Whitford. Bradley Whitford. Like, so we're always like our so Craig Robinson. Sorry, Craig Robinson. The, the, the goal is always like get the funniest people, and they're maybe they're two of the funniest people. So yeah. awesome. Well, thanks a lot. Best of luck on season three. We can't wait for it to come back. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay.